This is so yeah. extra in the best way possible. I'm trying so hard to keep my cool right now. This is dangerous for me. Okay, contestants, Simon says freeze. It's now time for some tiny terraforming. As you bring the great outdoors in with your bite-sized slice of paradise, you'll have an hour and 15 minutes to finish this. This challenge starts in three, two, one, make it mini. I didn't say Simon Says. I didn't, I didn't say Simon Says. <laughs> Simon Says make it mini, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for rocks. I need more rocks. Get you grabbing little paws out. <laughs> <laughs> You're slow. I'm so slow today, but you know what? I'm gonna take this extra time so I can be prepared. You mean you're stalling because you don't know what you're doing. Turtles. I don't want it to be a plain white background because that was a problem in the first challenge. I want the fountain to be a part of a little pond. The giant ramen bowl will have um, like oversized egg and then the little fish cakes to make giant and have them floating in there. I'm gonna try to use my green thumb for the first time ever because I am not great at growing things. I think it's a solid plan. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I feel like I have a lot of ground covered. I haven't looked at my competitors yet because they're behind me. We're behind you? <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're behind me literally <laughs> and figuratively. <laughs> Hey, hi, how are you? I'm good. This is such a cool piece as well as this. Let it tell a story, you know? Yeah, it's kind of giving me like sophisticated birthday party that went wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it started out really cute. They had macarons, they got mm -hmm. something. It's giving uh, me a little anxiety. <laughs> Just uh -huh. a little? Just a little, because I want to make sure that you can incorporate both pieces, because they're so yes. cool separately. Yeah, I need to make sure that they bridge is gapped. Mm -hmm. I think that this is going incredibly. I can't wait to see how you incorporate it. Thank Keep going. You. How are you doing, Amanda? I'm doing great. Yeah? I love just using the materials in like different ways. Yeah. yeah that's that's I mean, that's why we started the show in the first yeah, place. Exactly. Right? These look so fucking cool. I cannot wait to see them. You have 28 Whoa. minutes left. I'm going to let you go back to work, because I feel like you're going to need it. Bye. Well, hello. Well, hello, Mark. How's it going? It's going well, Mark. You're from Saskatchewan, right? Saskatchewan, yeah, yeah. You guys are riding mooses up there. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Moose, Straight up mooses. polar bears. Have you ever seen a polar bear? No, no. no they're not, not. They're no. far up there. Thirty seconds. Why am I always doing this for thirty seconds? Right. I don't know, Larry. I'm asking the same question. <laughs> oh my god. Five, four, three. Two, one. <laughs> Hands up. Put, put them down. Yes. <laughs> How come it? It times hey. up. Woo. Okay, contestants. Let's see who was able to tame the Whittle Wilds and who got stuck in the mini muck. To help me make that decision is someone I consider a pint-sized slice of paradise. Please help me welcome Ashley Yee. Hi. Hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, hi. Hi, hi. This is amazing in you here. You like it? Thank yes. You. Are you ready to judge the minis today? I'm ready. I love anything small. Good things come in small packages. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> okay, Larry, come on down. Bam. Stop it. I chose to make it a cactus garden. And there's a pathway to the ice cream. Last challenge, I was telling everyone that I really wanted people to use the ingredients in a new, unique way. And I feel like you really nailed that. And this is totally just giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes. I was thinking about Alice in Wonderland with the colors I was given in the um, ice cream sundae kit. They're all so incredible piece by piece. I wish that there was more of a narrative uh, sort of incorporating the both of them. It's sort of like a garden party in New Mexico, and it's an Alice yes, in Wonderland-themed exactly. garden party, And but also, we're, I don't know, is New Mexico on a fault line? Because it's also an earthquake. Come into Europe next. So when I first saw this and realized what it was, my heart was like, <laughs> exploded. So I'm a ramen girl, so I absolutely would do many things to be in this in real life. Everything is literally moving. You see the little steam. You see the ramen falling out. This is levitating. One thing that I really wish is the use of the space on the outside. It's giving a little negative space for me, but I love this. Thank you. Come up and grab your bowl of ramen before we eat it. <laughs> All right, Taylor, you're up next. 
I need to control my facial expressions, but... Me too. Holy cannoli! So I pulled a pizza out of my random capsule. So on the bottom of the fountain there, there's actually an aquarium. And in the aquarium is the pizza ingredients. I dipped a plant in the cheese sauce and then dipped it in the red pepper flakes to make it look like there's flowers on the top of it or like a coral or something. Um, and then I used the green peppers as seaweed coming out from the bottom and then chopped up the mushrooms and used them as additional rocks inside the aquarium. So the more I look at this, the more I'm like, poof, 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 poof. this pink pathway sand situation, like I want to walk through it. it. needed a pop of color. It did. I'm a pink girly, so this is really speaking to me. I think that we're going to have to make some decisions, so we're going to have to ask you to leave, and then we will call you back in once we made a decision. Let's talk. Okay, let's do Let's it. start with Taylor's. The wheelbarrow's broken, so I don't know, did the resin yeah, just not... Yeah, I don't not... think she just had enough time to cure the resin. She didn't use her time correctly. There is something really cool about this, but I do think that she could have edited it a bit more. But overall, I think that it's really impressive what she did with such a small amount of time. I agree. How she went up instead of using the bowl yeah. and defied gravity, that's so impressive. Without a doubt. Next, we have Larry. Now, what I really liked about this was the cactus garden looks like people are going to want to make that immediately. Yes. I think that it did look a little bit disconnected, but overall, it's such a beautiful piece. For me, this is probably most curated. It's beautiful, and he did a really nice job of making the space feel full and cohesive, but there was a huge disconnect. He put all the dessert just to the side. I know, right it was there. an afterthought, you know? Yeah. And then finally we have Amanda's, which I think blew both of us away. Yeah. But my thing with Amanda is that she didn't fill up all the space. I agree. I know she's trying to go connect the culture of Japan, but for me it just feels empty. Yeah. This is insane. It's, it's so insane. Crazy. It's insane. It's so well crafted. And I know that, you know, you can't tell, but the, the miniverse really isn't about minimalism. We're mm -hmm. sort of a maximalist place yeah. here, you know? Love. Do you think we've got a winner? I think we do. Bring back my mini makers. First, I want to commend all of you on your brilliant use of individual ingredients in different ways. Taylor, I think that while this was really spread out and, and took up a lot of space, I think that an edit would really work better in your favor. Larry and Amanda, it was a hard decision. However, there can only be one winner. This was such a tough decision for us. We went back and forth, and both of these absolutely made our hearts scream. But we came down to a decision and we felt that the winner is Amanda. Oh, Congratulations, yeah. Amanda. Thank you. I think that your scale proved that size does matter, but so does the motion in the ocean. <laughs> Amanda, you have also won a massive advantage for the next challenge. Amanda, you can come up and grab yours and place it on the wall of small. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, contestants. That was another mind-blowing challenge. And also, thank you to my very special guests. You were absolutely incredible. And now I have a new set of nails. Show them off. Look. I know. I did that, OK? So I know I know how to use the, the resin just as much as you do. <laughs> thank you. I learned so much. And remember, if it's not miniverse, it's not miniverse. Next time on Bite Size, you will not have access to the mini pantry. Oh. I know, thank oh you. My God. Instead, the only thing you'll have access to is your leftover pieces, parts, and capsules from the previous two challenges. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to complete my full idea given the limited resources I have. <laughs> I should have just taken all the stuff that I wanted, but I have the advantage.